Last night you began the 2023-2024 campaign at home against Campbell. Uh, your Warriors got the win 75-20. Uh, tell me what we can look forward to this season. Well, you know, I like, I like the mixture we got out there. It's a, it's a different mix of size and speed, and, you know, our skill level's improved a lot. So, you know, I think you can see a, a more uh, up-tempo type of team that's still going to play through our bigs which sometimes can be a challenge, but, you know, we're, we're looking forward to that challenge and trying to speed up the game a little more since our skill is a lot better and, and uh, our understanding of what we're doing is a lot better. So the last two years, uh, your team's been knocked out in the first round, uh, once against Munster and the other one against Lindsey. Uh, what's the differences in past playoff teams versus this year's team? Um, you know, people forget those two teams are pretty good teams we played. And first year was, you know, Munster was real good. And the last year's team was, I don't think their record gave them true justice. But, you know, give credit to Lindsey. We didn't, we didn't play well in the playoff game. And uh, for whatever reason, you know, there's a lot of factors there. But our whole gear this season is try to, uh, to gear up for a big game, practice for a big game. So big games are a lot easier to play. Gotcha. So you have four seniors on this squad. What are you looking from those guys to help lead this team? Um, there's a lot of court time, Scotty. A lot of experience. And even our juniors got a lot of experience. So there's a, there's a lot of experience out there that they can lean on each other. Um, it's a real competitive bunch, which, which is exciting. Um, and, you know, I think we can get some mental toughness going there and some competitiveness to, to help us win in big ball games. So what are some of the team's main strengths heading into the season, and how do you plan on capitalizing on them? Um, like I said, we have a good mix, um, bigs and guards, that really have a good understanding of what we're trying to do and our skill levels improve. We want to really try to push the tempo, play through our bigs, work a lot of high-low stuff, and yet we'll give our guards room to operate and penetrate. If we can just get a little consistency from our perimeter shooting, you know, it'll really open up the space inside. Gotcha. So, you've got some pretty strong teams in the district. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you assess that level of competition and what are some challenges that you anticipate? Um, you know, Sam Rayburn is a, is a school that's really just focused on, you know, a lot of basketball. So, they've been in the gym a long time. Um, they play a lot of games, and uh, Coach Hudson does a great job over there. They run a little 3-2 matchup, which is a little bit different than what everybody sees, which I give credit to him. So, you know, th there's, some, there's somebody to contend with. Um, you know, Celeste is always going to bring it to the table with a lot of pressure. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, right now, we're worried about us and getting ready for those challenges in the district. And if, if we can do the things I think we need to do, we'll be okay. So what is the one game on the schedule that gets your heart pumping? <laughs> uh, I can't really point out anyone. I think all the district games do, um, especially, you know, maybe the, the games might have some um, implications on the playoff or maybe seeding or maybe that district championship. Gotcha. So you lose Alex Viss. He was a three-year starter. Who fills that void? And, and does it take more than one person to fill that void? Yeah. I think I think we can do it collectively. Um, I think these guys got pretty good understanding and and chemistry and understand who's need to score. I think on any given night anybody can can lead us in different ways, which is good as a coach. You like to have that. Um, so that's that's something we can can uh, look forward to. So you've been blessed with hot on this team this year. I mean, courts came out what is yeah. six one now, just about point guard six one, and I mean you got multiple guys that are over six feet tall. How's yeah. that going to play a role in the success of the team? Well, it's very big because it, it means you can have a chance to make a run in the playoffs deep when you got a little size, especially at the guard position, some length. Um, you can put a lot of different lineups out there. We can go real big or we can go real small, which is a uh, blessing to have and a challenge at times for a coach, but. You know, we're, we're working on it day in, day out. So what's the motto for this year? I told them I'm going to leave that up to them. We're still talking. It's still in the inaugural phase. Yep. And right now we're just going with orange shirts until we uh, can get that down. Gotcha. 
So eight out of the ten players came straight off the football field on Friday. Uh, what's going to be the transition period for those guys and to get comfortable and being on the basketball court? You know, I know we've had this conversation yep. that football shape's not the same as basketball shape, but yep. how long do you do those you guys? Know, I'll give credit to them. We've had two practices, and, you know, you can tell there's, they're off the football field, but, you know, they, they've, they've got a lot of court time. They've played in the off season. They've been in the gym. And so I, it really doesn't feel like we're four weeks behind, like a typical basketball program really gets, like the football gets four, you know, right. people get four weeks. And we've had two days. So it's, the good thing is they know what to do. Gotcha, gotcha. So what are some pre-district games that are on the schedule that's going to help us, you okay. know, with that deep yep. playoff run? Yep. Um, you know, all the tournaments, we've got, you know, Pearland tournament, obviously this week we're playing, you know, pretty much three A's. We got, I think we've got Clarksville in there, which is 2A. And we got Bells next week, which is a good 3A basketball program. They've had a lot of story success in the, in the last couple of years. Um, and we got North Hopkins. We opened up a Gray for the number one team in, in 1A, which is defending two-time state champion, which they project to maybe have a chance to make a run at it again. So we're looking forward to those games. And then over the holidays, we're going to be in the Paris Holiday Tournament, which is, a, to me, one of the better tournaments around here because it's high-level basketball at the 4A and 5A level. So what are some teams in our region that we could possibly see in San Antonio? You know, I don't want to speculate too much. I guess you have to throw the guys that were in there last, maybe the Toller. You know, I guess you have to say Lipan in our region. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to discount us. You know, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of teams that have a shot. So, you know, anything can happen in the playoffs. It really just takes getting hot at the right time. So, so the best question for last, what's going to be the tip-off song? <laughs> you know, we went with Jump last year. What, what are we going to go for this year? I don't know. Scotty, you know I'm old school. I got the 80s and 90s in me. I got so you. I got you. I'll leave that up to other people to do right. that. But I don't know. That's always fun and exciting. The kids are talking about turning out the lights last night. And I'm like, we're not there yet. Yeah. Well, Coach, good luck this year. Uh, hopefully I can do another interview come playoff time. Well, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? It would. So good luck, Coach, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Thank you.